Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from channel listener Veronica King, Estes Park, Colorado. Come into healing. Recently, through prophetic words, God has loudly and strongly been commanding, let go of old alignments. As even this morning another one was posted, it becomes clear some of us are still having trouble breaking free. Admittedly, I am one of the ones the Lord has been addressing with these sober instructions. If, like I was, you know how deep in your heart of hearts that you are in, you're in a relationship, it's not based in or founded on God, that the ties are unhealthy, that it's causing you to live in gray area or even in sin to keep it alive, I urge you, determine to get up without hesitation. Begin walking unwavering toward the Lord, eyes forward, with no turning back. Over a year ago, as I agonized over my relationship, I was lying somewhere between awake and asleep. I saw inside myself a large, beige, capsule-like mass of tangled fibers. I heard myself say, Is this my love for him? And I heard in a very certain voice, No, that is pain. I know this was a dialogue between my spirit and the Lord. I have come to understand that my crying, my heartache, is not mainly out of love for that person, but because I was hurt. What I mistook as heartbreak was actually pain. Even within the last few days, I was letting my mind drift back to the past. I felt something almost as if a living thing grab onto me, begin to cover me again, like a filthy black gooey slime. I believe it was a spirit of pain. If you are dealing with heartbreak, if it seems almost overwhelming or unshakable, tell the thing to go. Command it in Jesus' name. It is pain from your past that only makes you overtake with sorrow. I later had a vision in which I was holding a fox by a short rope knotted around its neck. I knew with certainty I had to cut the rope and let the fox go. I came out of the vision impressed with a reference to the little foxes that spoil the vines from Song of Solomon 2. Please listen, please know. Certain contacts dull our relationship with God, even lead us to sin against Him. It ruins us as the vine of Christ, and we must cut those relationships loose and determine, determinedly let them go in order to put God first. If you are resisting breaking things off with a beloved person, believe me, I understand I am there with you. For us, separation was traumatizing. Many of us come from broken homes. We've lost people. Many of us come from parent rejection. We are trying, trying, trying to hold on to situations, though they may be bad, or to people, though they may be hurtful. We are ever hopeful, continually believing that things somehow, someday, will change for the better. We may be trying to win approval, to believe ourselves, and to prove to others that we are worthy to be loved. But God says, you don't have to prove it. Yes, you are worthy. Yes, you are loved. Let me take you out of this pain. Let yourself be healed so you can come into my rest. and Then you can grow. Let me take you to a place where you can just be yourself. Come inside and find that the one that I created you to be, it's in you. I have destined for you. I need you to come to me, and we will walk together ahead. My friend, be brave. Take God's hand. Walk with him out of the darkness and the pain. Come forward into the future that he has for you. I can attest as one who has come a long way out with him onto this road. He will not let you down. You will not be disappointed. You will be overjoyed with what he has in store for you in the days ahead. Hallelujah. Friend, what a word of encouragement. Lord Jesus, it helps us so much when we hear testimonies. When we hear testimonies like our dear sister Veronica. Lord, I know that you are able to heal hurt. You are able to heal rejection and wounds. Lord Jesus, we first and foremost pray for reconciliation. If it's possible, Father, 
Help us to be reconciled one to another as you have reconciled us to the Father. Lord Jesus, we we embrace the healing, though it's hard. Sometimes our hearts are there, but our heads aren't. Lord, help us to root out those little foxes. Help it not to spoil the vines. Help us not to grow dull or grow cold, Father, but to walk with you, believing your yes over the enemy's no. We praise you, Father, and I pray healing for my friend in your mighty name. Amen.